I just finished wrapping up filming for, what video did I just film? Oh, Spanish. Things I'm trying to incorporate more into my Spanish or just how Spanish is going. Just finished wrapping, filming that. And now I need to put everything away. You <laughs> put everything away. I bought some new microphones. The Rode Wireless Go 2. I bought them, so I remember when they made the first iteration of these, I was like, oh, that's neato. Eh, I'm good though. And then they made one where it was like two at the same time recording. I was like, that's neat. Because I don't know if y'all know this, but I have a cooking channel with Mr. Hullies, who's over there. And something that's really hard is running the audio for that because usually I just use my Rode boom pole situation for us to talk, but then we can't really like be going back and forth to the stove from the kitchen. You know what I mean? Like the, the audio won't go with us. So maybe we can use these and then production will begin to be a little easier. <laughs> So lately I've been considering moving to Southern California to see if that can help me take my career as a digital storyteller and filmmaker to the next level. However, I've also been meditating on moving now for other reasons. Hope I like them, because I can't return them now. I guess I'll read the manual or whatever. I usually don't like to, but let's read the manual, why not? They got these two buttons doing like everything, good God, all right. So you just clip it onto yourself and then apparently you're supposed to have audio. Let's see what we got, here we go, let's switch it over. Right now I have it to where this one's in one channel and this one's in another channel. So like if I just do this, you should be getting some crazy surround soundy situations starting to happen in the atmosphere because of me talking this way. But obviously I wouldn't do that when I'd be normally recording. i just have it just chill. This is interesting. I don't hate this. I would definitely use a lav to just attach to this maybe because it's kind of clunky. It's kind of in your face. This is very like, I have road gear. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. Anyway get into this topic of this video. Probably need to charge these things low key. I think they need to be charged. Last I checked, 361 bills across 47 state legislatures have been introduced to restrict access to voting. So I'm starting to think, could this move be political as well? All right, I'm gonna let those charge for a little while and then maybe do another test in a little bit. I've been on my full Virgo grind lately and starting to just like look at the differences between Texas and California, specifically around governance. A lot of the bills that are coming up across the country, different bills that are kind of reining in how and when and to what degree people can vote. Like it's a little scary, I'm not gonna lie. I just feel like, to piggyback on that last video, I do, I'm starting to feel like every day I kind of need to wake up and look at the news and be like, do I still have rights though? Like that's kind of where I'm at. And so I've been, I've been starting to look more into just governance and who, what is the makeup of the people that are governing you depending on where you live. And I'm starting to meditate on, well, dang, you know, not everyone, we don't all get to pick where we live. Um, you're kind of born into where you live. And, you know, if you can get to a certain level, you try to leave. But some people can't. So what does that mean? What does that say about me that I'm trying to leave? If I move somewhere, or at least on the surface, it seems like, the powers that be that govern where I live do things that are more aligned with my interests, will that actually be a better living experience? I don't know. Look at your state legislative like breakdown 
and who is governing where you live and start to see how your legislature, based on where you're at, is made up. So, for example, Texas is a Republican state, right? Um, and it is a trifecta. And that's when one political party simultaneously holds the governor's office and the majorities in both state and legislative chambers. I also learned that as of April 2nd, there are 23 Republican trifectas across the country, and then there are also 15 Democratic trifectas across the country, and then there are 12 divided governments, which I think is interesting. Maybe the way your political views are lined up, you want to live somewhere where it's a Democratic trifecta. Maybe the way your political views are lined up, you wanna live somewhere where it's more of a Republican trifecta. Or maybe you find yourself being a little bit more moderate and you're considering living somewhere that is a bit more varied, like there isn't a trifecta. This is something to think about, I think, when you're considering moving and leaving, um, if you have the privilege to kind of dictate where you potentially wanna go. Something that I'm starting to see more and more, especially among black women, um, when thinking about moving or leaving where they're from, is they're wanting to be in spaces where blackness is the norm or where blackness is not so othered. Moving to places like a Houston or um, moving to an Atlanta, somewhere in Georgia, stuff like that. Um, which makes a lot of sense. Like I totally get this idea of wanting to potentially feel what it's like to not be so othered here in the United States, especially again with everything that's going on around like voter voting legislation that's coming up a lot across the country right now. I don't know, I've just been thinking about so many different things and it's been really interesting to kind of look at the legislative breakdown of the state that I'm in versus the state that I'm going to. And I think if you are someone who's thinking about moving within the United States specifically, obviously, um, I think starting to do a little bit of this research for yourself, depending on where you want to go, um, can be really eye-opening, especially if you're trying to make sure that your vote goes further. I really want to hear y'all's thoughts about this idea of moving based on your governance and how you want to be governed, and also just like the inherent privileges of even thinking about that. In the comments below, let's continue this conversation. I think it's one that should be had. Um, if you're new here, <laughs> I haven't introduced myself. Hi, I'm Halise, a digital storyteller and video producer. And on this channel, I document my chaotic good life. Subscribe, follow, social media, all the things. Big shout out to my Patreon producers, patreon.com slash Halise. There you get early access to videos as well as private weekly vlogs for me. It's a good time. Again, if you made it this far, hi. And I will see you when I see you.